and welcome back this week i was passing by my local b&m store here in the uk i came across this philips bt 25b bluetooth speaker it cost me five pounds which is around six in us dollars which usually a philips speaker just like this one here retails between 15 and 20 pounds and well i thought i'd see if it's any good so inside the box we have oh no i absolutely absolutely hate instructions like this honestly a site map just to find out what the functions are oh well these speakers are quite straightforward to use anyway let's take the speaker out and just below we have a very short micro usb cable mm, nice add it to the millions i've got so no even though i think there's a socket on this speaker we don't actually get a 3.5 millimeter cable with it Taking this Philips speaker out, the unit itself is made of hard ABS plastic. It is indeed well built. There is a grill to the top with not facing single 2 watt RMS speaker. There's the Philips logo which is printed on its face. And for the buttons we have a 2 mode selection switch, which is just here at the bottom. Which consists of wide selection mode and Bluetooth mode. An LED indicator to the left, to the right a pairing button, a micro USB charge port, and the 3.5mm port. Back to the front door and holding and pressing the pairing button for around 2 seconds will it will send this speaker into pairing mode which is indicated by the LED light indicator to the side. Let's go ahead and pair the speaker and that's easily done by turning on Bluetooth on your device, searching out and selecting BT25 and there you go all paired up and ready to blast some tunes. So after listening to a fair bit of music, I must say that music volume was kind of average for a speaker of its size. It certainly wasn't as loud as I would prefer, and that bass, well it was pretty much absent. When you do have heavy bass within a song, the audio level was consistently and automatically lowering at certain parts, which became very noticeable. And after a long period of time, it just became rather annoying, which took away the enjoyable music listening experience. The audio levels were the same while using the 3.5mm cable in comparison to using the Bluetooth mode. And that consistent lowering and raising of audio levels, well that was still there too. Don't get me wrong, the sound clarity is pretty good. It's just those levels. I don't know. I'm, I just wish it was a bit louder. I mean, I've spent £10 on an unbranded speaker. And I've got to say, it would actually knock the dust off this Philips speaker today. And that is the same with the transmission distance too. An unbranded speaker just like this one works from about 10 to 11 meters. But looking to the specifications of this Philips BT25B, I suppose they get around 10 meters distance before the Bluetooth cuts off. In actual fact, I only got 4.5 meters before the signal completely broke. I also got 4 hours 20 while listening to music from the 6 hours that was listed. But that is with 100% volume being used. I mean, look, for £5, I would say that I wasn't expecting much. It does have its uses. I think it may be good for someone looking for a small speaker to take to the beach, which is light enough. You can take it to the park. Good for kids, good for teens. And yeah, maybe if you're going abroad and you want to save on luggage space, just pop that in the corner and it will serve basic music listening needs. It does weigh only 898 grams. If you want my truthful opinion, I would spend a fraction more and get yourself just something a bit better. I have personally gone ahead and selected some of my suggested budget Bluetooth speakers. I have left those links in the video description down below. Go ahead, check them out and go get yours. Oh yeah, yeah, my rating out of 10, I almost forgot. But I'm going to give this Philips BT25B Bluetooth speaker a uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> in your dreams, 3 out of 10 is all you're going to get. Sorry guys, I've got to be honest, it's really not worth between that 15 and 25 pound price tag. 5 pounds maybe, mm, yeah, but add another fiver and you get this speaker, which is basic, but sounds a lot better. 
anyway guys i hope this review helped if it did please go ahead and smash that like button subscribe making sure you guys hit that bell notification option so you guys stay updated on all my new uploads i'll see you guys over on my new video which will be coming real real soon sooner than you think i think so stay tuned for that and well thanks for watching